Chase Toyota Insider, the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Rival alongside Natalie Poole, and the season is underway. Coach, you went down to Florida Gulf Coast, played in, in their tournament over the weekend. Mm-hmm. I know you guys were glad to get outside in some in good weather and finally play ball. We were. It was really great weather. Um, they put on a great tournament. Thought everything was really well run. I thought we got a chance to see um, a level of different competition and uh, some great teams. Got a nice win over the host team, Florida Gulf Coast, a 6 nothing shutout. Mm-hmm. Molly Smith, a complete game three hitter in that ball game. Brooke Lee, homered in that ball game. So nice to get a win over the host team. It definitely was. And, and I feel like offensively, we had a good presence this past weekend. Um, so it was nice to see some kids come up in some clutch situations and hit the long ball. And typically in the past, we've had speed, but we really haven't had the meat of the lineup to be able to drive in some of those runs. And so we've had to manufacture quite a few runs. So having a little power in the middle of the piece of the lineup has been a nice addition for us. And you showed some some pop there, too. We talked about Brooke Lee's home run. Lindsay mm-hmm. Stickrod had a couple home runs in that tournament. She made the weekly honor roll. She did. She just shows a lot of great potential to hit the long ball. She sees pitches well. She's aggressive. And um, she makes quality adjustments, and so I think she's going to definitely be um, a great hitter for us. Do you really put much stock in, in, in a first tournament? Of course, you want wins. Mm-hmm. I mean, everything's going to count at the end of the season, yes. but it's still just the first weekend of the season. Now you move mm-hmm. forward. Absolutely, I, I definitely helped us get an, um, a clear picture of where we need to to get better. We talked about lessons learned this past weekend. We had a lot of lessons learned in the in the circle. Um, we're young in our pitching staff, and so even Molly, who did well for us, you know, she didn't pitch much at all last year, and um, and so I think she, while she's going to have a strong presence for us, she's still young. So um, she made great adjustments even from her first day to the second day on the weekend, and some of our other kids, I think that for them, when I talked to them, they were addressing the need to work ahead, the need to get those strikes early so they can pitch and be who they know they can be later on the counts, and you know, if somebody gets a hit, not to be afraid to go back to the zone again for the next hitter, and so those were just some quality things that we needed to address and we needed to learn and hopefully this next weekend we can be better in the circle. Well I'm fortunate you're going to stay in warm weather you're going to head out west down to Arizona State's tournament you'll see the host school Arizona State Mm -hmm. other teams will be Illinois State Montana Michigan State Northern Iowa so another tough field. Absolutely and we were in a um, you know with Michigan State I definitely think that we have the potential to beat them even though we ended up on the losing end of that game Um, And we were ahead in a couple of the games that we let slip away from us. We were ahead 6-1 in one of the games, and we were um, ahead going into um, towards the the seventh in one of the other games. And so we're definitely in some of those ball games. We just need to push ahead, and we need to be stronger there towards the finish. What what do you want to get out of the tournament this weekend other than the the wins? Absolutely. Definitely want to win. Uh, I want to see us overcome some of those situations where we might be allowing the game to slip out of our hands right there at the end. Just trying to push to be stronger there towards the finish. Um, some of that's endurance, you know. You know, we have a pretty good size um, pitching staff, and so um, they haven't pitched a lot of innings, you know, in the preseason. They split a lot of time with others, and when we're scrimmaging and that kind of thing. And so, I think just building up some endurance on the mound, mentally as well as physically, and learning how to pitch through um, as you see a hitter the second and third time at the plate. Defensively, uh, we made some simple mistakes, catching and throwing, things that we're definitely capable of doing, and I've seen them execute, so we will apply those. So I want to see growth in that area as well. Unfortunately, this year, or the tournament you're, you're placed in this year that you chose to go to, weather really not an issue. The last couple of years, you've had some tournaments that, that, that the weather uh, kept you from playing some games. I know you got on a bus, I think it was last year, and not getting to play a, a makeup game. So yes. this year, you're able to get these innings under your belt real early. Absolutely. And, you know, and for us, just need to see what we're really going to be good at and what we have the potential to do. We, we've we got some really great speed and our speed is getting on. And so um, we were successful 10 of 12 stolen bases this past weekend. And, you know, with our hitters in the middle being able to do some things, I think that we definitely have more potential than we've had in the past. And I'm excited about it. All right, Coach, thanks a lot. Best of luck out in Arizona State. Thank you. That is Natalie Poole. I'm Jeff Brightwell for the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.